Trinity B1 ISC1 4 Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas This is Trinity College London ISC1 Achiever B1. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. My name is Angelina. This is task one of speaking. What's your title topic? Before that, please tell me your name. What's your name? My name is Pooja Kalwar. Okay, what's your title topic for today? My title of topic for today is hobbies. What are your four topic points? My four topics points are watching TV, traveling, eating out, cooking food. Okay. What kind of food do you like to cook? I like to cook for cook uh, biryani because it is my favorite dish. And uh, my family also like biryani. That's why I mostly, when I cook, first of all, I cook uh, biryani. For how many people do you usually cook food? Uh, for six people in my family. All right. And what kinds of TV shows or TV programs do you like to watch with your family? I like to watch TV, so uh, Hindi movie, because in Hindi movie, there is a uh, many family topics to exp explaining more and uh, mostly I like to watching with my family. Uh, Hindi movie is my favorite. Could you tell me about a place where you recently ate out with your family? Recently I go out uh, uh, the place was Pokhara and I like to go there because there is more beauty, nature of beauty, many religious place, cultural. Who do you usually like to go with when you eat out? I like to go out with my family, but sometimes I go out with my friend as well. Okay. And how do you usually travel when you go out? I go with my own car because I like to go, no? How? How do you usually travel? How? By car, by bus, by train, not who. I'm using H-O-W, how. How do you usually travel? I go with uh, my own car because it's uh, comfortable and easy. How pretty. Who is a person? How? H-O-W, mm -hmm. how? How? By bus, by car, by train? By car. Okay. What's your favorite transport when you travel out of city? My favorite transport is car. Okay. Um, do you like to travel by public transport? Yeah, sometimes I use uh, public uh, transport as well because sometimes um, in family member, they go out with car because we have only one car. And mostly sometimes I getting late, then I go use by bus, public bus. Okay, all right. Okay, would you please tell me about a day when you cooked something special for your family? Mostly Saturday is my holiday because I go for university uh, five days, uh, six days, and one day is my holiday. Saturday is my holiday. Then I like to, that day is for cooking. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, always I tell you how, how, mm -hmm. how do you travel? I travel by car. 
who is a different word altogether who is different putra who okay who is your teacher who who is your teacher who who is your teacher puja who puja angelina so how do you travel by car how do you make biryani how puja hmm? how do you make biryani how i make biryani by by put uh, biryani masala onion oil meat everything like this. how means the process of something puja right mm -hmm. how how do you travel how do you make tea how do you how do you meet people how do you travel when you mm -hmm. uh, go for a holiday how puja is that okay mm -hmm. right okay, ma'am so puja this is conversation okay, part 2 the topic that I have decided for you is your neighborhood. What do you like about your neighborhood? I like to my neighborhood uh, for help for helping them and no neighborhood puja hood hood. This is your house and the place is near your house. We call it neighborhood, Pudra. Neighbor is a person. I could be your neighbor, but neighborhood is a supermarket. You have a supermarket in your neighborhood. You have a park in your neighborhood. You have trees in your neighborhood. Hood means the area where you live. Okay? So my question is, what do you like about your neighborhood, Pudra? What do you like about your neighborhood, not neighbor. Neighbor ends with an R. Neighbor is a person. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood is the area surrounding your house. Pooja, let's start over. What do you like about your neighborhood? Yes, Pooja. Do you like the shops in your neighborhood? Do you like the park in your neighborhood? What do you like? Yes. Is it clean? I like, I like to market in neighborhood. I like to the park in neighborhood. I like to uh, big mall, like mall in neighborhood. Okay. Uh, what would you like to change about your neighborhood? I, actually, I like to change the... Uh, I make. Uh, I want to make uh, some. Which one is not facility is available in their my neighborhood. I I I try to make their many facility which are uh, which are which helping us. How long it's been you're living in your neighborhood? How long it's been? Yes, beautiful. How long it's been you're living in your neighborhood? How long? How long it's been? Um, how long it's been you're living in your neighborhood? 15 years. 15 years. It's been 15 years. Okay, so uh, do you have any famous buildings in your neighborhood? Yes, uh, currently in my neighborhood, so there is open uh, restaurant. Uh, it's very expensive there and uh, make uh, like uh, modern, we find there modern restaurant. Thank you. Would you like to ask me two questions about my neighborhood? What do you like in your neighborhood? I really like the park in my neighborhood and there's a big mall in my neighborhood as well. And uh, what do you need uh, to uh, improve there in your neighborhoods? Probably the parking space. There is need to extend the parking space because there are lots of cars. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. This is the end of the test. Pooja, you have passed the test beautiful. Okay. We need more practice so that you can get at least a merit with speaking. But congratulations, you have managed. Neighborhood. Everybody remember, neighborhood is the most important topic for B1 level. Right? Neighborhood. Oh, neighborhood is an area near your house. Another word that you must learn that is countryside, you know, the village side, the village area. You must know which is your hometown, the place you're born and you're brought up, or you had been living there for a long time. Like people who live um, like in different cities for six to seven years, that place becomes their hometown. Uh, Pooja. Okay, Pooja. Okay. I'm okay. going to play a recording about a cheese rolling festival okay okay yeah just a minute I'll... ISE one listening task one you're going to hear a talk about a cheese festival you will hear the talk twice as you listen write down some notes about what you hear if you want to after, I will ask you six questions on some facts about the cheese festival. Are you ready? There's an unusual cheese festival in the south of England. It has taken place in the month of May. They use the local hard cheese because it's in the shape of a wheel. This means that people can push it down a hill. The cheese weighs about five kilos, so it moves fast. People take the cheese to the top of a hill. This is where the race begins. The cheese goes 200 meters to the bottom of the hill and the competitors run after it. People always fall over because the hill is so steep. The first person to catch the cheese is the winner. Nowadays, people come from all over the world for this festival. Recent winners have been a woman from America and a man from Japan. People have wanted to cancel the race because the weather is too wet, but it hasn't happened yet. ISE 1, listening task 1. There's an unusual cheese festival in the south of England. It has taken place in the month of May. They use the local hard cheese because it's in the shape of a wheel. This means that people can push it down a hill. The cheese weighs about five kilos, so it moves fast. People take the cheese to the top of a hill. This is where the race begins. The cheese goes 200 meters to the bottom of the hill and the competitors run after it. People always fall over because the hill is so steep. The first person to catch the cheese is the winner. Nowadays, people come from all over the world for this festival. Recent winners have been a woman from America and a man from Japan. because the weather is too wet but it hasn't happened yet but it hasn't happened people have wanted to cancel the this festival recent winners have been a woman from america and a man from japan people have wanted to cancel the race because the weather is too wet but it hasn't happened yet now i'll ask you some questions you want All right, Pooja, now I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Where does the festival take place? The festival takes place in England. South of England, but England could be considered correct. When does the festival happen? It's up in May. What shape is the cheese? shape of wheel or teeth that is correct what does the winner have to do the winner have to do push downhill run after the cheese or catch the cheese 
Okay, who has won the race recently? The race recently, women and men. Be more specific. Women from? America and men for Japan. Why have people wanted to cancel the festival? Because the weather is too wet. Great job. You got almost five answers correct, I would say. Congratulations to you. Pooja, I'm going to play a recording about tigers. You've got to listen to the recording and tell me in few words, what is the recording about? ISC 1, task 2. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. Pooja, tell me, could you tell me in few words what is the recording about? It's uh, to visit there in Nepal. There is a tiger, and um, uh, the tiger weight is uh, 300 kilometer. No, and the tiger is eight uh, five kilo. Eight. Thank you so much. Now listen to the recording again and write down six important facts from the recording. Okay. On today's program, we will be visiting Nepal to see one of the most beautiful creatures on Earth. We're going to see tigers. A fully grown tiger is a heavy animal and can weigh up to 363 kilograms. As you can see, they are large creatures, and a tiger's tail on its own can be one meter long. Tigers usually hunt alone. They wait until it is dark to hunt other animals. Tigers can see very well in the dark, six times better than humans can. Tigers often eat five kilograms of meat in one meal. When they have eaten enough, they cover the rest of the meat with leaves and dirt and come back to it later. Unlike most other members of the cat family, tigers enjoy water and are good swimmers. You can identify an individual tiger by its stripes, as each tiger has a different pattern of stripes. Tigers can make a very loud noise when they roar. You can hear a tiger as far as three kilometers away. Right, Pooja, would you please tell me six facts from the recording? It's visit in Nepal and uh, there is a, uh, the tiger weight is heavy, like a 360, and the tiger tails is one meter long and uh, five kilograms uh, eat uh, meat and there, another uh, meat is cover uh, to this rest of meat and the tiger have to loud noise 
and people to see their tiger uh, to three kilometer far. Hmm. They can hear, not see. Anyways, thank you. Um, could you please tell me how are tigers different from other cats? Six. No, no, no. Pretty. How are they different? Um, can anyone else tell me how are tigers? Can I take the a different call? strips? Excuse me. Just give me a minute. Okay. Could you please tell me the strips? No, 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 no. It's not that. It's that uh, that they enjoy water, and are good swimmers. They enjoy waters. Cats don't like waters, but um, tigers do. Okay? So how can you identify a tiger, Pooja? We identify the tiger. their stripes okay and do all tigers look the same Pudra? no ma'am okay at what time of the day the tigers hunt Pudra? at what time of the day do the tigers hunt do you know what is hunting Pudra? hunting hunt yeah. like evening time not evening. Night time. Puja. Hunt means to look for food. Hunt. Mm, yeah. But they do it at night. Okay, Pudra, you have passed your listening. You have just passed, okay? Very well done. 